In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the lazy script and how you can use it in Kali Linux. What is the lazy script? What's the purpose of using it? So the lazy script is designed to help you to save time and work, install different hacking tools easily with just a few minutes saving a lot of time of your. To help in the way all the manual tasks are avoided. The purpose of this script is you have all the options in a single terminal with a number and it will start working to make easy without opening a multiple terminal. Trust me. This script will make your life easier and of course fast. This script is whoever wants to type less and do more work. Alright, so before beginning, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my video. Please remember, this video content has been created for educational purpose only. I and script creator is not responsible how you use this tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the terminal. Once you open the terminal, you have to open as a root. So first thing, who am I? I open the terminal as a root right here. And you have to open the browser. Once you open the browser, make sure uh, you have internet. So and then type, you have to Google it google.com I type lazy script so once you open the lazy script click on this one the first one and I will copy from here I will put this link in my description so you grab from there once you copy open op, once you open this one you have to click on code and copy and minimize this one you have to go get clone and paste this hit enter so while you are copying this one please make sure you are in the root purpose if you are using normal user make sure you are in root so once you cloning the script folder so you have to go cd ls script do ls and you will see all those things okay and also what you have to do there is a you can see how you can install on this one so you have to do all this thing i'll put this link in my description below so you'll be able to get it okay so minimize this i will say csmod and plus x is to install as it's now we have uh, in executing mode right here so do this one install sh and press any key to install okay i'll press any key and it will start installing the program This one is really depend upon your internet speed. So, all right. So, this is the step where you can install the script. So, if you are updating the script, you have to type U for updating or installing for I. So, I'm. This is my first time I'm installing. So, press I and hit enter so you need to accept the terms press any key and then type yes so basically what it says is you will um, use this tool for your own network so it's not for the other so be, be mindful of that one if you type yes hit enter and you can close the background 
and in this section you have to choose the WAN settings you have to open this terminal and of I have config this is the WAN for me and paste it here and please make sure your wireless interface is in monitor mode if you don't want to put anything just hit enter it doesn't really matter for me I am gonna use to change this one to monitor mode I am gonna use the command which will be AIR ear monitor dash ng and start WAN0 so basically WAN0 is my wine interface W WAN0 so hit enter and it will stop the services and it will start it will modify to one monitor so let's check again config all right so if you see right here i'll put this and again if you don't have one monitor so just hit enter without typing anything and ethernet zero i'm gonna use this one so hit enter and then i'm i'm done with the interface settings and press any key to continue and continue again all right there you go let me close this let me close this all right from here you can do ip config you can also enable when you can enable monitor mode you can do whatever you want to here so i'm gonna show you few things here uh let me see number nine number nine let's see number nine hit enter and you'll see right here let's see let's install some tools with that number six hit enter and what do you want to install anything let's say angry ip all right let's put the angry ip there number three number three and number once you choose and type yes type yes and it will install and once it's done press any key and you have to go back for b and one more back let's go to nine again hit enter and let's go to one and number 20 let's see if you see in the red section those are not installed and if you see the all the white color those are installed so if you see put if you put 20 so see it's so easy so easy so close and you can install you can you can use from now you can change all of this and then you can start scanning and with that let's see change other one let's go to number two let's go to number two and there you go so it will scan all those things and make sure if you are okay on it so those are my all of the ssd and if you are ready on it so you have to control c i believe you understand how you how to you can use this and that's how you use so i'm not gonna show you all those things maybe it's crazy so please cancel it you can also open the script from the terminal type yell 
L is lazy, so it's so cool, right? So cool. Exit. Let me exit in. And exit from here too. And if you click on this and make sure you are in root privilege and type L. And this is so cool. There are a lot of things we can do on it. So please let me know in the comment section what, what tools you want to use with the lazy script. I I really appreciate it with the Aries whoever create this tool. Go ahead and try and then uh, let me know in the comment section how it is. If you have any questions regarding to this, please comment below and then I will answer um, as much as possible I can. So thank you for watching.